This module will work, we'll dive a little bit more deeply into how organizations work, how teamwork functions, communications, that sort of thing. Let's begin with the notion of organizational culture. One of the most important aspects of organizing in a business is determining what the organizational culture will be like. This is the shared values, beliefs, traditions, philosophies, rules, the, the role models for these behaviors. The culture is, is the part of the business which, which individual employees and associates and customers experience when they enter into the sort of the space that's being organized by a particular group. <clears throat> It's also called corporate culture. An organizational culture exists in every organization, regardless of its size, regardless of its type, its product, or its profit. Essentially, it is the, um, the, the atmosphere of norms and behaviors that guide individuals who are part of an organization. A firm's culture may be expressed formally through its mission, through its mission statement through its codes of ethics, through the different memos, manuals, and ceremonies that occur, rituals, but it is more commonly expressed informally than formally. So that's what the management is trying to push, but there's also what people have over time uh, reached agreements about how they behave with one another. Examples of informer, informal expressions of culture would be dress code or lack thereof, working habits, extracurricular activities, uh, stories that are told and retold when new employees come on, some s historical uh, com uh, context. Individuals often learn and the accepted standards by discussing, observing, and participating along with their co-workers. So that's this notion of culture. Uh, it's, uh, it really determines, to a large degree, if you're, you're the match with the culture, determines whether you like your job, don't like your job, that sort of thing. That on the on the visceral level, on this emotional, the feeling of meaning level. Organizational culture helps ensure that all of the members of the company share the same values, and it suggests the rules for how one behaves when dealing with problems within the organization. It's it's deep. It's outside of individuals organizing people together. Um, if you think about it, it becomes very difficult to change because of that. So one of the big areas of management is managing this culture and how to move it in one direction or another, or if it gets off track, how to bring it back. This table shows that executives in the study believe that corporate culture has a significant impact on the performance of the organization and in particular its ability to retain and motivate employees. The key to success of any organization is satisfying its stakeholders, especially its companies. So establish, uh, excuse me, its customers. So establishing a positive organizational culture sets the tone for many other, many decisions that are involved in building an efficient organizational structure. It's the sort of part of management which can be both the most rewarding but it is also the most difficult it's kind of unspoken when it surfaces it becomes actually a little bit less effective that's what's interesting about it as an example tom's shoes organizational culture uh, was determined by its founder this is sometimes called the founder's effect it's from his desire to provide as many shoes as possible to children in developing countries. Uh, sometimes shoeless children walk for miles to get food and water and medical care. Blake Markowski gave hundreds of thousands of shoes to children around the world each year, gives those and still does, creating a strong organizational culture of giving back. It's, uh, it's an example of corporate social responsibility that we had talked about earlier. His company operates with a program that every shoe purchased, for every shoe purchased, a shoe will be donated to children in need. His company operates with a program that, uh, that allows the people that are employed to feel not only like they're part of Tom's Shoes, but they're part of something important in terms of helping children in need. 
the organizational structure consists of two parts. The for-profit component of the company manages overall operations. Its non-profit component, Friends of Tom's, is responsible for volunteer activities and shoe donations. This type of organization that has both a social component and a business for profit component is called a hybrid organization.